All right, fourth graders, today you are creating a value scale. You're practicing mixing different values of paint. This is an example of a value scale. You can see I go from my lightest purple all the way through my medium purple to my darkest purple, and the same thing with orange. That's what we're doing today. So you need to choose what colors you're going to start with, and I always work lightest to darkest. So to start out with, I've got white and just a mixing tray that I will share with my neighbor because I won't need too much space to mix. They can share on that side. And I'm going to put a little bit of white with my brush and spin it off on my palette. Okay. Now I'm going to be dipping into the blue so I need to clean off my brush. I bounce it in my water cup so that the bristles spread out and get clean. Drag it on the edge so that it doesn't drip and mix up a little or pour out a little bit of blue. To get the blue out of the cup, I use my brush almost like a little bit of a spoon, scoop up just a little, and twirl it off on the edge. From here, I am mixing my blue with my white. So I'm not going to need very much blue. I'm going to need more white than blue because I'm making my lightest value of blue. So more white than blue, quite a bit of white, and just a little bit of blue. When I mix a color, I just choose one little spot to mix. I'm not going to need very much paint to fill in this small box. Okay, so this is my lightest blue tint. I need to paint that in. From there, I can just add a little bit more blue to that tint to make it a little bit darker. If I need to, I can add more paint, but I think that should be okay. I'm still showing good craftsmanship, even though I'm just painting in these small squares, practicing using my brush in a way I would on my final painting. Now I need a little bit more white, so I'm going to clean out my brush, make sure there's no blue on it so that I'm not dripping blue into the white. Scoop out a little bit more white, twirl it off on my paint palette. Okay, I need to mix a little bit darker blue. I have one, two, three, four, five, six boxes. So right here, this should be my medium tone. I could do just plain purple probably in this third or fourth box, okay, but it's up to you. So a little bit of white and a little bit more blue and mix it up. I can hold it next to the one I just painted to check to make sure it's a little bit darker. Now if it wasn't dark enough to be a problem solver, I would add a little bit more blue to that color. A little bit more blue, or I could just do that plain medium blue. Okay, Just straight out of the bottle blue, this is kind of like my medium tone. and forth, back and forth goes my brush. I'm ready to start mixing a shade, and a shade has black in it. So I'm going to mix up a little bit of, or pour out a little bit of black, just like I did with the white. And now this is why my neighbor and I are sharing. I accidentally grabbed too much white. My neighbor can use that white if they need to. Okay. Pour out a little bit of black. Black is a really strong color. I'm not going to need too much black. I am even going to rinse out my brush before I start to mix my shade. Alright, so I'm going to use mostly blue. Looks like I need a little bit more. Mostly blue for this next color. And just a little bit of black. When I say a little bit, I'm doing just like the tiniest little pinprick. You can barely even see it. And that will change my color. If not, I can just add another little pinprick of black to my blue. Seem to work. And a little bit more blue. And a little bit more black. Slowly mix. 
mixing up my darkest shade. this one to be really dark so I'm going to add even a little bit more. You could leave it as it was right there or you can make a really dark black. It's up to you. So here is my value scale for blue. I've gone from my lightest blue all the way to my darkest blue. I'm going to do that same thing with another color down below here. Make sure before you turn it into the drying rack that you get your name and class code on it. Miss G or S or 4 M at the top or the back somewhere so that we know who's is whose. Alright, I'm looking forward to seeing these value scales.